Hi, my name is Chris, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to take a quiz on Moodle. First, we'll want to navigate to our quiz. And let's take note of the icon that indicates a quiz, which is this piece of paper with the red check mark above it. Now, I'll click on the link, Lesson 7 Quiz, Natural Gas, and I'm brought to the quiz introduction page. Here we see the title to our quiz at the top of the page, and beneath this will be some notes from the instructor about the quiz. And beneath this will be some more information about the quiz. Now, when I'm ready to take the quiz, I will click this button here that says Attempt Quiz Now. I'll be prompted to confirm that I would like to start taking the quiz. And here we are brought to the quiz. First, I'd like to draw your attention to the upper left portion of the page where we have the quiz navigation block. This will tell us how many questions are on the quiz. We'll also be given a link to complete our attempt from wherever we are in the quiz. And lastly, if our quiz is timed, there is a timer to let us know how much time we have remaining to complete the quiz. Moving on to the quiz questions. The types of quiz questions will all be familiar to you. Multiple choice, true, false, etc. Though there may occasionally be a question that you will not want to answer immediately, but you will also not want to forget to answer. We are able to flag these questions here. There's a link that says flag this question for future reference. I will click on this link or button and we see this flag that was gray is now red. As well, depending on how your instructor has set the quiz up, you may be able to receive feedback on your answers immediately while taking the quiz. In order to do this, I'll answer the quiz question as I've done, and beneath this answer, there's a button that says check. I will click this button and voila, I am given immediate feedback on my answer. Now, I'd like us to take note of two things. First of all, we will receive credit for the answer that we have checked. Secondly, we will not be able to change the answer that we have asked for feedback on. Moving on, I'll continue to take the quiz. As I've completed all of the questions on this page or flagged the questions that I did not want to answer, I'll click this button that says Save and Continue to move on to the next page of the quiz. Now, we are able to see that beneath some of these questions is the option to save our answer. This button is somewhat superfluous as it does save our answer, which is always good to do. But at the bottom of the page, we are able to click this button that says Save and Continue and it accomplishes the same task. We are now at the end of the quiz and I will click this same button that says Save and Continue to complete the quiz. And here we are brought to step one of what is a two-step quiz completion process. Here we are given a summary of our attempt. Remember, we did not answer question three. And so, it has a flag next to it. I will click on question three. I am brought back to question three where I can now answer the question and remove the flag. After doing so, I return to the top of the page and here we have our quiz navigation block with the link that allows us to finish our attempt from wherever we are in the quiz. I will click this link. I'm brought back to the quiz summary page. Notice that where there was a flag, now there is none. And when I feel as though I am ready to submit all of my answers and finish the quiz, I will click this button that says submit all and finish. I'm prompted to confirm that I would like to submit all of my answers and finish the quiz. Now, two things that I'd like us to take note of are, remember our quiz had 10 questions. So the grade for the quiz will be out of 10. This is different from the amount of marks that we will receive for the quiz. The marks indicate how many points the quiz is worth in the grade book. This completes our demonstration on how to take a quiz in Moodle. If you would like more information or need more help, please visit the Moodle support site. Thank you very much.